Hey guys, my name's Laura and welcome back to my channel. I like making videos about health, wellness, lifestyle, and sobriety. So if any of those topics interest you, please consider subscribing to my channel. Today I wanted to talk about the domino effect of quitting drinking alcohol. And these are examples of how I feel like quitting drinking alcohol has indirectly created other positive things to happen in my life. And I wanted to share with you those things that I feel have been because of drinking alcohol. I would love to know in the comments below if you agree with any of these things that I'm about to share or if you can provide me with some of the ways that quitting drinking alcohol has kind of propelled you to make other really positive changes in your life. So leave a comment down below. Let's get right into the video. So the first kind of domino effect of quitting drinking alcohol that I really noticed was that it really propelled me to start new hobbies. Before I quit drinking alcohol, I was really feeling bummed out. I was feeling like I didn't really know what I enjoyed doing outside of work and kind of like what my hobbies were. I have always been a really creative and artistic person, but I just, I wasn't feeling driven to do any of those hobbies that I used to do. And so I was just feeling like our my only things I enjoy doing, just like watching TV and drinking wine, like that can't just be my only hobbies. So since I quit drinking alcohol, I've really noticed it's been so much easier for me to delve into other creative things. First example is creating and maintaining a video schedule. When I was drinking alcohol, I really felt like I was at a loss for creativity and the, the creative juices just were not flowing on a regular basis. I was pretty irregular about how I was uploading videos and the content that I was talking about. And now that I've quit drinking alcohol, I've really been able to maintain a filming schedule and editing it and putting my videos out there. And the second example Example is to actually try a new hobby, which was crocheting. And I've really fallen in love with crocheting. And before I quit drinking alcohol, this might be kind of like silly to say, but for people who drank on a regular basis or drink on a regular basis, you might be able to kind of relate with this, is that when I tried crocheting in the past, I kind of viewed it as something that I could do in a chill and relaxing way in the evening while I sipped on some wine instead of watching TV or something. And when I look back on that, it's super embarrassing for me to think of that as something that I just wanted to do while I was drinking alcohol. And now that I've taken alcohol out of the picture, this is a hobby that I've genuinely really fallen in love with. I'm actually obsessed with crocheting at the moment, I think. I've even gone as far as to open an Etsy shop. And if you're interested, I'll link it down below. My Etsy shop is called One Blind Sheep and I've already made a few sales. I'm really happy with how things are going on that. And I'm confident that if I did not quit drinking, I would not have found this newfound love of crocheting and really put my all into that endeavor. So leave it in the comments below what new hobby you tried since quitting drinking alcohol. I would love to know. The second kind of domino effect fact that I've really noticed since I quit drinking alcohol is that I feel like I take more pride in my work life. And this is something that I, I never really had before. Um, I would put effort into my job and my career and doing a good job and I was always professional and all of those things. But since I quit drinking alcohol, I've really found that I take a lot more pride in my career and how I perform at work. I would say it's a lot more important to me these days. And you know, that could be kind of a combination of getting a little bit older and just the stage that I am in life. But I feel like since I quit drinking alcohol, my mindset has changed in a really positive way related to my professional life. And I've seen that I've never had such great reviews um, from my employer since I quit drinking alcohol. Since I became sober, I've really had great reviews with my employer and uh, a lot of meetings with lots of compliments of how I'm doing in my professional life. And that feels really amazing. It feels um, like I, I'm definitely more confident and more alert at work. I'm 
taking more initiative with things that are going on. And I just feel like it's um, definitely an indirect example of me getting sober and taking more pride in my own well being and how others view me. And that kind of translates in, into my professional life as well. The third domino effect that I have definitely noticed since becoming sober and quitting drinking alcohol is that it rubs off on others. And this is something that I think, you know, it's not just alcohol related. And a lot of my examples are not just alcohol related. It could be really any kind of bad habit that you have that you've needed to quit and you know, quitting drinking alcohol, I've noticed that the people around me definitely don't drink as much either. Since I quit drinking almost four months ago, my husband has had like a total of maybe three beer in that whole span of time. He really has no problem with quitting drinking and kind of not consuming alcohol. So as soon as I stopped, he just wasn't really thinking about it at all. Uh, and I gotta say, I really envy that because I wish that I was that type of person too. Um, but it's not just my husband, it's other people in my life, friends and other family members. And when we're at get togethers and people know that I'm not drinking and probably my husband isn't drinking too, people are just less inclined to get wasted or wanna have multiple drinks or things like that. So not only does not drinking make other people not drink, but not drinking makes other people question their relationship with alcohol in general and or their relationship with other substances or other habits in their life. Because like I said, it's not just alcohol related. This could be anything that you struggle with in your life. You know, while it might make other people not drink, it could also make them question other things that they have in their life that are holding them back, which is always a positive thing to to really reflect within and try to see where you can improve. This kind of leads me into my next example of the domino effect that I've seen since quitting drinking alcohol and that it's a lot easier to quit other things and reflect on your other habits once you've taken one bad thing out of the mix. So quitting drinking for me was hard and it was a really hard pill to swallow that this was something that I needed to reevaluate. And for the longest time, I didn't quit because I didn't think I was at the level of someone that is supposed to quit drinking alcohol. And that sucks because that means there's this huge stigma on alcohol and that you need to fit this certain type of box or you don't really need to think about your relationship with it. But the, the fact of the matter that this is a an addictive substance, it's a poison, and it's not something that's actually beneficial for us um, as people and as a society, and it's really not something that we need in our lives. So I wish that I quit drinking earlier, but you know, at the end of the day, I waited until just about four months ago to quit drinking. And since then I've noticed it's so much easier to reevaluate other things in my life. This is embarrassing for me to say, but I also had an addiction to energy drinks. I know it's really, I, I'm not proud of it. Let's just say that. My only thing that I have to add every time that I bring up the fact that I was addicted to energy drinks is that these were the sugar-free ones. So maybe that makes it like this much better. Um, but since I quit drinking alcohol, I actually also quit drinking energy drinks. That was a huge thing for me too. Now, I did not stop consuming caffeine because I was always drinking coffee in addition to energy drinks, which is also like a whole other can of worms, <laughs> um, but we don't have to go there. Basically, I've just found that it's so much easier to say, okay, you know, I'm gonna quit drinking alcohol and I probably don't really need to have energy drinks too. And while I'm at it, I'll just kind of cut back on the amount of chocolate that I'm having or whatever the case is, whatever it is that you're struggling with. I feel like when you quit drinking the hardest thing, it's like this metaphorical umbilical cord that gets cut and then it's just so much easier to think about the other ways that you can improve. And I feel like since I quit drinking alcohol, I've just been on this really positive road and positive mindset and things that come up that are hurdles don't feel as big and things feel a lot more manageable. And I guess that's mainly because alcohol is also a depressant and it doesn't make us feel very good. So it's easier to reevaluate those other things 
in your life when you take away that thing that's really holding you back. So whatever that thing is for you, consider taking that out of the picture and you'll notice that the rest of your life will kind of follow suit. Now the next example that I have you know, you may or may not be able to relate with this because it is very specific to me, I think. Um, but the domino effect that I've really noticed since quitting drinking is that I have so much more confidence in the way that I look, specifically without makeup on. And in my adult life, this has really been something that I have struggled with because growing up, I think I started wearing makeup at like age, you know, 13, 14, whatever the, the norm was when I was that age. And I never really stopped wearing makeup. I would wear it every day. And if I was going out anywhere, I would put makeup on. And into my adult life, this really made me have a complex with my appearance because the only time that I would see myself without makeup on was like right before I was going to bed or when I was tired and groggy waking up in the morning. So I really didn't have that much experience with my actual bare face. And this really led me to believe that I was not beautiful without makeup on. And since quitting drinking alcohol, I have to say that I have so much more confidence in the way that I look uh, specifically without makeup on. And I think a huge component of that is that when you're consuming alcohol, at least for me, alcohol really makes my face a lot redder and it has a huge impact on kind of the way that my eyes and around my eyes looked. I tended to look a lot more tired. My skin was more dry. My face was more red. And in general, it just made me look older than I was in my opinion. And since I quit drinking alcohol, I've definitely just felt a lot more like supple and like juicy in the skin. If, uh, if I can say it like that, I don't even know if that makes sense at all, but I just feel like I feel better about how I look with my natural face. And you know, that's a combination of years of work of trying to cut back on wearing makeup, but then also taking out the thing that was actively having a negative and backwards effect on my skin, taking that out of the picture has actually helped to improve the quality of my skin. So while I still struggle with things like breakouts specifically around my chin, and I do still have redness in my face because that's just part of my complexion. And sometimes I still get dry skin, especially around my nose if it's cold and it's winter. So if my skin's not perfect and my face is not perfect and no one's is, and that's the beautiful thing of life. But since I quit drinking alcohol, I've definitely noticed I have more confidence in the way that I look. And that's been really nice for me to feel that way because I think, you know, we all struggle with different things where alcohol really kind of was taking its toll on my mental state and how I viewed myself taking that away has just helped me to have more confidence in most areas, if not all areas of my life. And my appearance has always been something that I have struggled with to some capacity, whether it's like body image related or my face without makeup and taking alcohol away has really helped with that. So guys, those are the five ways that I've really noticed that quitting drinking alcohol has had a positive domino effect in my life. And I would love to know your personal point of view of how quitting drinking alcohol or another substance or another bad habit has positively impacted your life. So make sure you leave it in the comments down below and let me know your thoughts and your experiences because it's definitely important to me to hear your point of view as well. If you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel and give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. That's all I have for today and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.